Afrikaans, Wikipedia article audio. Afrikaans is a West Germanic language spoken in South Africa, Namibia and, to a lesser extent, Botswana and Zimbabwe. It evolved from the Dutch vernacular of South Holland spoken by the mainly Dutch settlers of what is now South Africa, where it gradually began to develop distinguishing characteristics in the course of the 18th century. Hence, it is a daughter language of Dutch, and was previously referred to as Cape Dutch or Kitchen Dutch. However, it is also variously described as a Creole or as a partially Creolized language. The term is ultimately derived from Dutch Afrikaans Hollands meaning African Dutch. It is the first language of most of the Afrikaners and coloreds of Southern Africa. Although Afrikaans has adopted words from other languages, including German and the Khoisan languages, an estimated 90 to 95 percent of the vocabulary of Afrikaans is of Dutch origin. Therefore, differences with Dutch often lie in the more analytic morphology and grammar of Afrikaans, and a spelling that expresses Afrikaans pronunciation rather than standard Dutch. There is a large degree of mutual intelligibility between the two languages especially in written form. Etymology History With about 7 million native speakers in South Africa, or 13.5% of the population, it is the third most spoken language in the country. It has the widest geographical and racial distribution of all the 11 official languages of South Africa, and is widely spoken and understood as a second or third language. It is the majority language of the western half of South Africa the provinces of the Northern Cape and Western Cape and the first language of 75.8% of colored South Africans, 60.8% of white South Africans, 4.6% of Asian South Africans, and 1.5% of black South Africans. In addition, Many native speakers of Bantu languages and English also speak Afrikaans as a second language. It is taught in schools, with about 10.3 million second language students. One reason for the expansion of Afrikaans is its development in the public realm. It is used in newspapers, radio programs, TV, and several translations of the Bible have been published since the first one was completed in 1933. In neighboring Namibia, Afrikaans is widely spoken as a second language and used as a lingua franca, while as a native language it is spoken in 10.4% of households mainly concentrated in the capital Windhoek, Walvis Bay, Swakomund, and the southern regions of Hardup and Karas. It, along with German, was among the official languages of Namibia until the country became independent in 1990, 25% of the population of Windhoek spoke Afrikaans at home. Both Afrikaans and German are recognized regional languages in Namibia although only English has official status within the government. Estimates of the total number of Afrikaans speakers range between 15 and 23 million. The term is ultimately derived from the Dutch term Afrikaans Hollands meaning African Dutch. Origin The Afrikaans language arose in the Dutch Cape Colony through a gradual divergence from European Dutch dialects, during the course of the 18th century. As early as the mid-18th century and as recently as the mid-20th century, Afrikaans was known in standard Dutch as a kitchen language, lacking the prestige accorded, for example, even by the educational system in Africa, to languages spoken outside Africa. Other early epithets setting apart Kops Hollands as putatively beneath official Dutch standards included Gerard Braunite, Gebroken, and Onbeskuft Hollands, as well as Verkeerd Nederlands. 
An estimated 90 to 95 percent of Afrikaans vocabulary is ultimately of Dutch origin, and there are few lexical differences between the two languages. Afrikaans has a considerably more regular morphology, grammar, and spelling. There is a degree of mutual intelligibility between the two languages, particularly in written form. Development Afrikaans acquired some lexical and syntactical borrowings from other languages such as Malay, Khoisan languages, Portuguese, and of the Bantu languages, and Afrikaans has also been significantly influenced by South African English. Dutch speakers are confronted with fewer non-cognates when listening to Afrikaans than the other way round. Mutual intelligibility thus tends to be asymmetrical, as it is easier for Dutch speakers to understand Afrikaans than for Afrikaans speakers to understand Dutch. In general, mutual intelligibility between Dutch and Afrikaans is better than between Dutch and Frisian or between Danish and Swedish. The South African poet-writer Bryden Breidenbach, attempting to visualize the language distance for Anglophones once remarked that the differences between Dutch and Afrikaans are comparable to those between the received pronunciation and Southern American English. A relative majority of the first settlers whose descendants today are the Afrikaners were from the United Provinces though up to one-sixth of the community was also of French Huguenot origin, and a seventh from Germany. Recognition African and Asian workers and slaves contributed to the development of Afrikaans. The slave population was made up of people from East Africa, West Africa, India, Madagascar, and the Dutch East Indies. A number were also indigenous Khoisan people, who were valued as interpreters, domestic servants, and laborers. Many free and enslaved women married, cohabited with, or were victims of sexual violence from the male Dutch settlers. M. F. Vokhoff argued that 75% of children born to female slaves in the Dutch Cape Colony between 1652 and 1672 had a Dutch father. Some consider this the origin of the ethnic group, the Cape Collards, who adopted various forms of speech utilizing a Dutch vocabulary. Sarah Gray Thomason and Terence Kaufman argue that Afrikaans development as a separate language was heavily conditioned by non-whites who learned Dutch imperfectly as a second language. Monument Beginning in about 1815, Afrikaans started to replace Malay as the language of instruction in Muslim schools in South Africa, written with the Arabic alphabet. See Arabic Afrikaans. Later, Afrikaans, now written with the Latin script, started to appear in newspapers and political and religious works in around 1850. Standardization In 1875, a group of Afrikaans speakers from the Cape formed the Genutskap Veer Regd Afrikaanders and published a number of books in Afrikaans including grammars, dictionaries, religious materials, and histories. In 1925, Afrikaans was recognized by the South African government as a real language, rather than simply a slang version of Dutch proper. Afrikaans was considered a Dutch dialect in South Africa until the early 20th century, when it became recognized as a distinct language under South African law, alongside Standard Dutch, which it eventually replaced as an official language. The Afrikaans Bible Before the Boer Wars, and indeed for some time afterwards, Afrikaans was regarded as inappropriate for educated discourse. Rather, Afrikaans was described derogatorily as a kitchen language or as a bastard jargon, suitable for communication mainly between the Boers and their servants. 
23 years after the Second Boer War ended in 1902, mostly due to the efforts of the Africans' language movement on May 8, 1925, the official languages of the Union Act No. 8 of 1925 was passed at a joint sitting of the House of Assembly and the Senate, in which Dutch was declared to include Afrikaans. The Constitution of 1961 reversed the position of Afrikaans and Dutch, so that English and Afrikaans were the official languages and Afrikaans was deemed to include Dutch. The Constitution of 1983 removed any mention of Dutch altogether. The Afrikaans language monument is located on a hill overlooking Parle, Western Cape Province, South Africa. Officially opened on October 10, 1975, it commemorates the 50th anniversary of Afrikaans being declared an official language of South Africa in distinction to Dutch. It was erected in Parl on the 100th anniversary of the founding of the Genutskap van Regt Afrikaners, an organization which helped to strengthen Afrikaners' identity and pride in their language. The linguist Paul Roberge suggested the earliest truly Afrikaans texts are doggerel verse from 1795 and a dialogue transcribed by a Dutch traveller in 1825. Printed material among the Afrikaners at first used only standard European Dutch. By the mid-19th century, more and more were appearing in Afrikaans which was very much still regarded as a set of regional dialects. In 1861, L.H. Murant published his Zamens Proctustchen Klaus Wartseger and Jan Twiffelar, which is considered by some to be the first authoritative Afrikaans text. Abu Bakr Effendi also compiled his Arabic Afrikaans Islamic instruction book between 1862 and 1869, although this was only published and printed in 1877. The first Afrikaans grammars and dictionaries were published in 1875 by the Genutskap Vir Regt Afrikaners in Cape Town. The main Afrikaans dictionary is the Wordeboek van die Afrikaans Tal, which is as yet incomplete owing to the scale of the project, but the one-volume dictionary in household use is the Verklarend Hand Wordeboek van die Afrikaans Tal. The official orthography of Afrikaans is the Afrikaans Woertelis and Spell Reels, compiled by Die Takamisi. Classification the Afrikaner religion had stemmed from the Protestant practices of the Reformed Church of Holland during the 17th century, later on being influenced in South Africa by British ministries during the 1800s Afrikaner. South African History Online South African History Online Retrieved October 20, 2017 a major landmark in the development of the language was the translation of the whole Bible into Afrikaans. Before this, most Cape Dutch Afrikaans speakers had to rely on the Dutch Statenbijbel. This Statenvertaling had its origins with the Synod of Dordrecht of 1618 and was thus in an archaic form of Dutch. This was hard for Dutch and Cape Dutch speakers to understand and increasingly unintelligible for Afrikaans speakers. Geographic Distribution C. P. Hoochhout, Arnoldus Panavis, and Stephanus Jacobus Dutoit were the first Afrikaans Bible translators. Important landmarks in the translation of the scriptures were in 1878 with C. P. Hoochhout's translation of the Evangelii Volgans Marcus. However, this translation was never published. The manuscript is to be found in the South African National Library, Cape Town. The first person singular pronoun ik is in Dutch as opposed to Afrikaans ek, the diminutive endings tij, 
pronounced as in Dutch and not as slash key slash as in Afrikaans, the use of the form seg as opposed to Afrikaans se. The first official translation of the entire Bible into Afrikaans was in 1933 by J. D. Du Toit, E. E. Van Ruyen, J. D. Kestel, H. C. M. Furi, and B. B. Keat. This monumental work established Afrikaans as answiver and ordent like tall, that is a pure and proper language for religious purposes, especially amongst the deeply Calvinist Afrikaans religious community that previously had been skeptical of a Bible translation that varied from the Dutch version that they were used to. In 1983, a fresh translation marked the 50th anniversary of the 1933 version and provided a much-needed revision. The final editing of this edition was done by E. P. Gronewald, A. H. Van Zyl, P. A. Verhoef, J. L. Helberg and W. Kempen. The pronunciation of J. Normally slash J slash as in Dutch is often A slash DZ slash. This is the strongest feature of Cops Afrikaans, the insertion of slash J slash after slash S slash, slash T slash N slash K slash when followed by slash E slash, e.g. Cajun as opposed to Afrikaans Ken. Afrikaans belongs to its own West Germanic subgroup, the Low Franconian languages. Its closest relative is the mutually intelligible mother language, Dutch language. Other West Germanic languages related to Afrikaans are German, English, and the Frisian languages and the unstandardized languages Low German and Yiddish. Statistics Sociolinguistics Current status Dialects some state that instead of Afrikaners, which refers to an ethnic group, the terms Afrikaanses or Afrikaans prekendes should be used for people of any ethnic origin who speak Afrikaans. Linguistic identity has not yet established which terms shall prevail, and all three are used in common parlance. The white Afrikaans-speaking community started being referred to colloquially as the Bayer. The terms Borsiun and Bayermasi became popular among young white Afrikaners for expressing national pride, regardless of whether or not they actually grew up on a farm. Bay, which means very slash much slash many is a very commonly used Afrikaans word, different from its Dutch equivalent veal or erg, badja, Afrikaans for jacket, where Dutch would use jas or vest. The word badge in Dutch is now considered archaic and only used in written, literary texts, piasang, which means banana. This is different from the common Dutch word banan. The Indonesian word piasang is also used in Dutch, though usage is less common. Afrikaans is also widely spoken in Namibia. Before independence, Afrikaans had equal status with German as an official language. Since independence in 1990, Afrikaans has had constitutional recognition as a national, but not official, language. There is a much smaller number of Afrikaans speakers among Zimbabwe's white minority, as most have left the country since 1980. Afrikaans was also a medium of instruction for schools in Boputaswana, an apartheid era Bantustan. Many South Africans living and working in Belgium, the Netherlands, the United Kingdom, Republic of Ireland, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, the United States, the UAE, and Kuwait are also Afrikaans speaking. They have access to Afrikaans websites, news sites such as netwerk24.com and sake24, and radio broadcasts over the web, such as those from Radio Sondergrens, Bach Radio, and Radio Pretoria. 
Afrikaans has been influential in the development of South African English. Many Afrikaans loanwords have found their way into South African English, such as Baksh, Bra, Nartja, Tekis. A few words in Standard English are derived from Afrikaans, such as Artvark, Trek, Spor, Felt, Commando from Afrikaans Commando meaning small fighting unit, boom slang, and apartheid. Fundi, from the Zulu word um fundi meaning scholar or student, but used to mean someone who is a student slash expert on a certain subject, i.e. He is a language fundi, lobola, meaning bride price, from lobolo of the Nguni languages, mahem, the grey-crowned crane, known in Latin as Bailarica regularum, marola, medium-sized dioecious tree known in Latin as Sclerocaria beria, tamboechiagras, species of thatching grass known as Hyperenia, tambotai. Deciduous tree also known by its Latin name, Spirostachys africana, tjela slash tjeladid, an adaption of the word kale, meaning to go home or to knock off. In 1976, secondary school pupils in Soweto began a rebellion in response to the government's decision that Afrikaans be used as the language of instruction for half the subjects taught in non white schools. Although English is the mother tongue of only 8.2% of the population, it is the language most widely understood, and the second language of a majority of South Africans. Afrikaans is more widely spoken than English in the northern and western Cape provinces, several hundred kilometers from Soweto. The black community's opposition to Afrikaans and preference for continuing English instruction was underlined when the government rescinded the policy one month after the uprising. 96% of black schools chose English as the language of instruction. Also, due to Afrikaans being viewed as the language of the white oppressor by some, pressure has been increased to remove Afrikaans as a teaching language in South African universities, resulting in bloody student protests in 2015. Under South Africa's Constitution of 1996, Afrikaans remains an official language, and has equal status to English and nine other languages. The new policy means that the use of Afrikaans is now often reduced in favor of English, or to accommodate the other official languages. In 1996, for example, the South African Broadcasting Corporation reduced the amount of television airtime in Afrikaans, while South African Airways dropped its Afrikaans name Suid Afrikaans Lugdians from its livery. Similarly, South Africa's diplomatic missions overseas now only display the name of the country in English and their host country's language, and not in Afrikaans. Cops Afrikaans In spite of these moves, the language has remained strong, and Afrikaans newspapers and magazines continue to have large circulation figures. Indeed, the Afrikaans language general interest family magazine Huiz Janud has the largest readership of any magazine in the country. In addition, a pay TV channel in Afrikaans called KYKNet was launched in 1999, and an Afrikaans music channel, MK, in 2005. A large number of Afrikaans books are still published every year mainly by the publishers Human and Rousseau, Tafelbergetgewers, Struck, and Protea Boakouis. The Afrikaans film trilogy Bakit caused a reawakening of the Afrikaans film industry and Belgian-born singer Karen Zwa's debut single Afrikaners is Plesirig caused a resurgence in the Afrikaans music industry as well as gave rise to the Afrikaans rock genre. Afrikaans has two monuments erected in its honor. The first was erected in Burgersdorp, South Africa, in 1893, 
and the second, nowadays better known Afrikaans language monument, was built in Parle, South Africa, in 1975. When the British design magazine Wallpaper described Afrikaans as one of the world's ugliest languages in its September 2005 article about the monument, South African billionaire Johan Rupert, responded by withdrawing advertising for brands such as Cartier, Van Cleef and Arpels, Mont Blanc and Alfred Dunhill from the magazine. The author of the article, Bronwyn Davies, was an English-speaking South African. Orangeriviera Frikans Expatriate Gelect Influences on Afrikaans from other languages Modern Dutch and Afrikaans share over 90% of their vocabulary. Afrikaans speakers are able to learn Dutch within a comparatively short time. Native Dutch speakers pick up written Afrikaans even more quickly, due to its simplified grammar, whereas understanding spoken Afrikaans might need more effort. Afrikaans speakers can learn Dutch pronunciation with little training. This has enabled Dutch and Belgian companies to outsource their call center operations to South Africa. Post-apartheid South Africa has seen a loss of preferential treatment by the government for Afrikaans, in terms of education, social events, media and general status throughout the country, given that it now shares its place as official language with ten other languages. Nevertheless, Afrikaans remains more prevalent in the media radio, newspapers and television than any of the other official languages except English. More than 300 book titles in Afrikaans are published annually. South African census figures suggest a growing number of speakers in all nine provinces, a total of 6.85 million in 2011 compared to 5.98 million a decade earlier. The South African Institute of Race Relations project that a growing majority will be colored Afrikaans speakers. Afrikaans speakers experience higher employment rates than other South African language groups, though half a million remain unemployed. Despite the challenges of demotion and emigration that it faces in South Africa, the Afrikaans vernacular remains competitive being popular in DSTV pay channels and several internet sites, while generating high newspaper and music CD sales. A resurgence in Afrikaans popular music since the late 1990s has invigorated the language, especially among a younger generation of South Africans. A recent trend is the increased availability of school educational CDs and DVDs. Such media also prove popular with the extensive Afrikaans-speaking expatriate communities who seek to retain language proficiency in a household context. After years of slumber, Afrikaans language cinema is showing signs of new vigor. The 2007 film Uma Se Slim Kind, the first full-length Afrikaans movie since Palja's in 1998, is seen as the dawn of a new era in Afrikaans cinema. Several short films have been created and more feature-length movies, such as Pona is Koning and Bakit have been produced, besides the 2011 Afrikaans language film Skunide, which was the first Afrikaans film to screen at the Cannes Film Festival. The film Plat Eland was also released in 2011. The Afrikaans film industry started gaining international recognition via the likes of big Afrikaans Hollywood film stars, like Charlize Theron and Charlto Copley promoting their mother tongue. Afrikaans seems to be returning to the SABC. SABC3 announced early in 2009 that it would increase Afrikaans programming due to the growing Afrikaans language market and need for working capital as Afrikaans advertising is the only advertising that sells in the current South African television market. 
In April 2009, SABC3 started screening several Afrikaans language programs. Further latent support for the language derives from its depoliticized image in the eyes of younger generation South Africans, who less and less often view it as the language of the oppressor. Indeed, there is a groundswell movement within Afrikaans to be inclusive, and to promote itself along with the other indigenous official languages. In Namibia, the percentage of Afrikaans speakers declined from 11.4% to 10.4%. The major concentrations are in Hardup, Keras, Irongo, Kamas, Omahak, Atyozanjapa, Kunena, and Ashikoto. Malay Afrikaans is offered at many universities outside of South Africa including in the Netherlands, Belgium, German, Poland, Russia and America. Following early dialectal studies of Afrikaans, it was theorized that three main historical dialects probably existed after the Great Trek in the 1830s. These dialects are the Northern Cape, Western Cape, and Eastern Cape dialects. Northern Cape dialect may have resulted from contact between Dutch settlers and the Khoikhoi people between the Great Karoo and the Kunena, and Eastern Cape dialect between the Dutch and the Kosa. Remnants of these dialects still remain in present-day Afrikaans although the standardizing effect of standard Afrikaans has contributed to a great leveling of differences in modern times. There is also a prison cant, known as Soebala or Sambala, which is based on Afrikaans, yet heavily influenced by Zulu. This language is used as a secret language in prison and is taught to initiates. The term Cops Afrikaans is sometimes erroneously used to refer to the entire Western Cape dialect, it is more commonly used for a particular sociolect spoken in the Cape Peninsula of South Africa. Cops Afrikaans was once spoken by all population groups. However, it became increasingly restricted to the Cape-colored ethnic group in Cape Town and environs. Cops Afrikaans preserves some features more similar to Dutch than to Afrikaans. Cops Afrikaans has some other features not typically found in Afrikaans. Cops Afrikaans is also characterized by much code switching between English and Afrikaans, especially in the inner city and lower socio-economic status areas of Cape Town. An example of characteristic Cops Afrikaans The term Orange Riviera Afrikaans is sometimes erroneously used to refer to the Northern Cape dialect, it is more commonly used for the regional peculiarities of standard Afrikaans spoken in the Uppington slash Orange River wine district of South Africa. Some of the characteristics of Orange Riviera Afrikaans are the plural form Goad. Variant pronunciation such as in Kajrik and Jild and the ending SE, which indicates possession. Portuguese Khoisan languages Although Afrikaans is mainly spoken in South Africa and Namibia, smaller Afrikaans-speaking populations live in Argentina, Australia, Botswana, Brazil, Canada, Lesotho, Malawi, the Netherlands, New Zealand, Swaziland, the UAE, the United Kingdom, Republic of Ireland, the USA, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. Most Afrikaans-speaking people living outside Africa are emigrants and their descendants. Because of emigration and migrant labor, more than 100,000 Afrikaans speakers may live in the United Kingdom. Due to the early settlement of a Cape Malay community in Cape Town, who are now known as Colards, numerous Malay words were brought into Afrikaans. Some of these words entered Dutch via the Indonesian language as part of the colonial heritage. Malay words in Afrikaans include Bantu languages 
Some words originally came from Portuguese such as sambril from the Portuguese sombriro, crawl from the Portuguese curl, and mealy. These words have become common in South Africa to an extent of being used in many other South African languages. Some of these words also exist in Dutch, like sambril parasol, though usage is less common and meanings can slightly differ. Grammar Phonology Vowels Consonants Orthography Initial apostrophes Table of characters Afrikaans phrases Sample text Notes Bibliography Some of these words also exist in Dutch though with a more specific meaning, Asaga for example means South African tribal javelin and Karis means South African tribal blanket of animal hides. Loan words from Bantu languages in Afrikaans include the names of indigenous birds, such as Mahem and Sakabola, and indigenous plants, such as Marola and Tamboike. In Afrikaans grammar, there is no distinction between the infinitive and present forms of verbs, with the exception of the verbs to be and to have. In addition, verbs do not conjugate differently depending on the subject. For example, only a handful of Afrikaans verbs have a preterite, namely the auxiliary wees, the modal verbs, and the verb dink. The preterite of mag is rare in contemporary Afrikaans. All other verbs use the perfect tense for the past. Therefore, there is no distinction in Afrikaans between I drank and I have drunk. When telling a longer story, Afrikaans speakers usually avoid the perfect and simply use the present tense, or historical present tense instead. A particular feature of Afrikaans is its use of the double negative, it is classified in Afrikaans as Antkennend Vorm and is something that is absent from the other West Germanic standard languages. For example, both French and San origins have been suggested for double negation in Afrikaans. While double negation is still found in low Franconian dialects in West Flanders and in some isolated villages in the center of the Netherlands, it takes a different form, which is not found in Afrikaans. The following is an example. Asterisk compare with ek will nigh dit don't nigh, which changes the meaning to I want not to do this. Whereas ek will nigh dit don't nigh emphasizes a lack of desire to act, ek will dit nigh don't nigh emphasizes the act itself. The ne was the Middle Dutch way to negate but it has been suggested that since ne became highly non-voiced, nigh or neat was needed to complement the ne. With time the ne disappeared in most Dutch dialects. The double negative construction has been fully grammaticalized in standard Afrikaans and its proper use follows a set of fairly complex rules as the examples below show. A notable exception to this is the use of the negating grammar form that coincides with negating the English present participle. In this case there is only a single negation. Certain words in Afrikaans arise due to grammar. For example, mot nai, which literally means must not, usually becomes moani, although one does not have to write or say it like this, virtually all Afrikaans speakers will change the two words to moani in the same way as do not shifts to don't in English. The Dutch word het does not correspond to het in Afrikaans. The Dutch words corresponding to Afrikaans het are Hebrew, het, heeft, and heben. There are many parallels to the Dutch orthography conventions and those used for Afrikaans. There are 26 letters. In Afrikaans, many consonants are dropped from the earlier Dutch spelling. For example, 
slacks in Dutch become slags in Afrikaans. Also, Afrikaans and some Dutch dialects make no distinction between slash s slash n slash z slash, having merged the latter into the former, while the word for south is written z wide in Dutch, it is spelled suid in Afrikaans to represent this merger. Similarly, the Dutch digraph, normally pronounced as slash i slash, is written as y, except where it replaces the Dutch suffix liek which is pronounced as slash loek slash or slash like slash, as in warskitchen liek warskinlik. Another difference is the indefinite article, n in Afrikaans and een in Dutch. A book is n book in Afrikaans, whereas it is either een book or n book in Dutch. This n is usually pronounced as just a weak vowel. The diminutive suffix in Afrikaans is tija, whereas in Dutch it is tij, hence a bit is b tija in Afrikaans and b tij in Dutch. The letters c, q, x, and z occur almost exclusively in borrowings from French, English, Greek and Latin. This is usually because words that had C and CH in the original Dutch are spelled with K and G, respectively, in Afrikaans. Similarly original CHU and X are spelled KW and KS, respectively. For example, equatorial instead of equatorial, and excuse instead of excuse. The vowels with diacritics in non-loanword Afrikaans are, A, E, 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 I, 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 O, O, U, U, Y. Diacritics are ignored when alphabetizing, though they are still important, even when typing the diacritic forms may be difficult. For example, jeet instead of the three E's alongside each other, asterisk jeet, which can never occur in Afrikaans, or se, which translates to say, whereas se is a possessive form. A few short words in Afrikaans take initial apostrophes. In modern Afrikaans, these words are always written in lower case, and if they occur at the beginning of a sentence, the next word is capitalized. Three examples of such apostrophed words are k, t, n. The last is the only apostrophed word that is common in modern written Afrikaans, since the other examples are shortened versions of other words and are rarely found outside of a poetic context. Here are a few examples. The apostrophe and the following letter are regarded as two separate characters, and are never written using a single glyph although a single character variant of the indefinite article appears in Unicode. For more on the pronunciation of the letters below, see help IPA slash Afrikaans. Although there are many different dialects and accents, the transcription would be fairly standard. In the Dutch language the word Afrikaans means African, in the general sense. Consequently, Afrikaans is commonly denoted as zy Afrikaans. This ambiguity also exists in Afrikaans itself and is either resolved in the context of its usage, or by using Afrikaan for an African person, and Africa in the adjective sense. A handful of Afrikaans words are exactly the same as in English. The following Afrikaans sentences, for example, are exactly the same in the two languages, in terms of both their meaning and spelling, only their pronunciation differs. Psalm 23 1983 Translation Die here is my herder, e k com nix court nigh, hi late my in grown y velda rus. Hi bring my by waters war dar vred is, hi g my nui crag. Hi lay my op di reg patat ir van s y nam, selfs al gun e k duer donker dieptes, sal e k ni bang wies ni, want you is by my. In you hand is e k velug.
Psalm 23 Alternative Translation Die here is my herder, nix sal my aunt breet nigh, hi late my nearl in grown wivelda, na waters warus is, lay hi my heen, hi ver quick my seal, hi lay my in die spore van jereg tied, oms y nam on twill, al gon ek ok in en dal van dud skadui, ek sal geen on hile vries nigh, want you is met my. You stock and you staff divert rus my Lord's Prayer. Ons Vader in Di Hemel, late you nam gay hilag word, late you conning sheer scappy spodig com, late you will hear opr dit give o'er word sus in Di Hemel, g ons di porzi brood wat ons vir van dog notig het, and vergif ons ons son disculled sus ons ok ons skuldinars virgwe het. Bewar ons so date ons nai on verlida ing sal toji nai, and bivri ons van di greep van di bows, want van you is di conning crick, and di crag, and di here look hate, tot and you ig hide. Amen. Lord's Prayer Ons Vader wat and di hemel is, late you nam gay hilag word, late you conning crick com. Late you will jeskeet op die ard, net sus in die hemel, g ons van dog ons daglix brood, and vergif ons ons skuld, sus ons ons skuldinars virgwe, and late ons nigh in die verso eking nigh, mar verlos ons van die bows, want on you be heard die conning crick, and die crag, and die here look hate, tot and you ig hide. Amen. My pen was in my hand, my hand is in warm water.